Happy Halloween, everyone! Let's make a Halloween grazing table. So over the last few weeks, I've been buying lots of different Halloween stuff. I totally forgot I had this Halloween cauldron as well. So I didn't use it at the beginning. People always love it when I do these because they're just so fun. Everyone can just help themselves. Who is people? Who's coming over to this Halloween party, this grandiose excursion that you have you have put yourself on, this path of high calories, this big back individuality that you have somehow managed to make your entire life? Why do we even bother doing this? I remember when she was doing this stuff and she didn't even bother to put down a mat. And I guess even still, she's not even doing that given the fact that the food is literally still on the table itself. But I guess she cleans it off. So much food from Becky. I don't know why she always does this shit. Like she always does these ginormous like grazing tables and then people always comment like Becky. Becky, too much, way too much. You got the Homer Simpson donuts on the table with the popcorn and the chocolates, dude. It's for any normal person. How many people are coming over to the house? Like 20? 20 people, bro? It's too much food, too much candy. This is just for fun. I mean, if it was a kid, uh, I guess if children were coming over. But then again, I would feel bad if children were coming over because, like, they're all they're doing is just eating processed chocolates and other things like that. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's fine for kids to eat candy, but it seems like there's a lot of candy. Me, by the way. I always start off with my little ramekins and I always add popcorn around them and I kind of just Starburst. build it up as I go along. It is good to have different. Oh, these are the off brand Starburst, right? I don't think these are I don't think these are name brand Starburst. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I've seen these ones. The ones you peel off and the paper still stays on. Layers as well, and unfortunately I didn't get that this time. But I had the donuts to put stuff around, the biscuits, the little Swiss rolls. Swiss, Swiss, baby. I also had some little Halloween decorations. I just want her to have another hobby, personally speaking. I think that Eating is great, awesome, fantastic. Like, I get it. Everybody wants to eat. Everybody wants food. Everybody wants stuff in their mouth to satisfy them infinitely and so on and so on. But I think that it would be better if Becky Jones took a moment to relax, take a time, and then maybe not eat the extraordinarily large amount of calories that I'm seeing upon this table. I, I, maybe she should invest in Legos, uh, in collecting stamps, licking the backs of envelopes. There are a bunch of things that you can go to Petco and adopt all the iguanas they deserve homes they're good people they don't even make noise really like dogs or cats or whatever um they just kind of chill i know you need to have like an enclosure for them or whatever because they have legs and stuff but besides that they're not that bad right uh i personally would never own a lizard or any type of iguana or gecko or whatever they call those things but if becky wanted to own those things i'm full support on that because becky eats too much and i feel like that is not that's not really a hobby but i would prefer if she did if she did have a hobby it would be something like those things and it'd be, it'd be really entertaining to watch too instead of just always watching becky jones making these ginormous dishes of food and there's my cauldrons look how much better it looks I think this took me around 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes. Eh, this is okay. This the, this little thing right here is, is pretty fun. I like it. I like that. Becky can be fun. And I really do like Becky. I just wish her diet wasn't as bad as it is. Becky. I absolutely love doing it. Everybody loves it, like I said. Who's everybody? Like, when you say everybody, is anybody else coming over to eat this? Or is it just literally you? I'm sure her family is going to eat some of it, right? But I don't expect her family to eat, like, the majority of this. I'm sure this is enough candy to satiate literally an entire like grade uh, uh in school this is probably like at least 10 or 15 people's worth of food here um in terms of candy treats stuff like that the the, the amount of calories as well on the table has got to far exclude like 10 15 000 calories easily and give me any event and i love doing a grazing table you obviously to, halloween though. had to be a sweet grazing table but let me know what your favorite halloween sweets are i love these little logs. i like gummy bears gummy bears are pretty good uh, I just think that Becky, she does, she does, she's a very kind and nice person. I don't know why she always has to sit here and make these disgustingly high calorie, like, grazing tables, dude. Do something else. Make your own food, Becky. Holy pops. Well, happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween, Becky. Even though this is atrocious and there's a lot of candy and a lot of everything on the table, including even in these, like, little cauldrons here. It's okay. Uh, I mean, it's not okay. It's terrible, but you know, it's fine. I'm happy that you're having happiness. I'm telling my family I couldn't get Costco profit rolls because they sold out. <laughs> oh yeah? Is that, is that what that is right there, Becky? Is that you body slamming the things that you told your family that sold out? You gonna body slam the whole thing for your own mouth while your family is starving? Obviously not starving, but 
Becky, come on. Take you. Why you need to body slam this shit? It's not. It's not for you. God damn, Becky. And it's crazy too, because I know this is supposed to be like a joke, but the fact that she put the spoon in her mouth. She put the spoon in her mouth and then put it into the bowl right after that. The backwash. That is absolutely so disrespectful. I know that you could be my family member and, like, we love each other and all this other stuff. But, dude, I'm not trying to eat your backwash mouth water. I'm just not. I, you know, I know a lot of people might not care about that. But I think most people are in my boat, which is if you're going to eat something, let there be a barrier in between it. And hopefully your mouth water doesn't contaminate whatever the food I'm trying to eat is. You pop. Well, happy Halloween, everyone. Like, peep the peep this shit. Takes it out, puts it in her mouth, right there, and then puts it back in the bowl. Dirty. Disgusting. Disrespectful. Absolutely atrocious. Feel bad, Becky. It's Donna Kebab night, but my Donna Kebab meat is from Costco. So, let's see what this is about. So, I'm going to put it in an oven-proof dish now, and we will dish it out together. Okay, let's open this and see what it looks like. Girl love Donna Kebab. Ooh. Okay. okay. I'm excited for this. Okay, so we're gonna put it into the dish now. It's gotta this gotta be like one of the most bought things over there in the UK, right? Like how many people out there and nobody here in America even if you said like, hey, I'm gonna go get a Donner kebab, everybody would look at you like, what the fuck is that, dude? What is what are you talking about? What is that shit? And you would say, Oh, it's like a food, I guess. It's like something that you can eat. I don't know, it's like sloppy newspaper food, meat that they scrape off a side of a, another big piece of meat or whatever. I actually don't even know what it is. But uh, here in America, nobody knows what that is. But in the UK, I've learned so much, like your lingo and how to pronounce words and row wows and all this other stuff. So uh, I've learned what a doner kebab is. Uh, I don't necessarily know what kind of meat it is, but I know that what it is, and it's disgusting. The fact that you guys eat this shit so, op so often. And then also that there's places that you can actually buy the frozen food variant of it. Why doesn't Becky just do that all the time then? How, how expensive is this compared to like getting takeout com, you know, and doing that as frequently as she does? I don't know how much you get. I might have to use some out of the other bag as well. Wow. There's actually quite a lot there. We don't need to use the other bag. Oh, it looks so nice though. Well, what's even the point of having a Fitbit or like an Apple Watch or whatever when you're Becky Jones, right? I mean, do you really give a fuck if your sleep schedule is on point? Do you really give a fuck if you're doing enough cardio in a day or you're getting steps in or whatever? <coughs> Does it really matter at that point when you're literally like on death's door and every day, like basically? I mean, these people literally have to have such hormone deficiencies that like the sleep has got to be, you know, what, two to three hours a night? But I do know a lot of people that do survive off of like four or five hours, which is insane to me. I can't believe that there are so many people nowadays that are like walking around groggy, terrible, and just feeling awful all day. And by the way, that does catch up to you. You can't sustain a lifestyle where you're just chilling at four hours every day for 20 some years. Like that's crazy, bro. Everybody should be trying to, as much as they possibly can, to get at least eight hours of sleep, bare minimum, every single night. And I know there'll be some people out in the, in the comment section going, Oh, six hours is good. Six hours is like optimal for me. No, no, it's not. Okay. Eight hours is optimal for everybody, including you, including your mom, including your sister, your brother, everybody. Eight hours every single night. And so when I see people with these Fitbits, because I was recently looking at some like, my friend was telling me that he had a Apple Watch. And he was telling me it's really, really good. So I was Googling some aspects of like an Apple Watch and things like that. It seems like most of the reason why people get them is to monitor the heart rate, monitor the sleep, monitor the diet the steps and things such and so forth and it doesn't seem like there's really much else to these and with these watches in general i mean i guess obviously the time but you got your phone for that so i see a lot of people that have these things that are very very overweight and i always think like why you're fat as fuck you don't give a fuck about yourself like why why are you acting like you got this shit on your wrist for any other reason than just to look cool don't act like you're using this shit i bet 80 percent of the apps that you're using are not being used at all like you probably opened them up one time and that was it so I, I would love to know why somebody like Becky Jones or somebody in general would even have an Apple Watch like this, especially if they're like closing in on bigness of weights. He is ready. Now I also really love when Becky makes salad. It's literally just like, I don't know, uh, either cucumber or some type of eggplant or whatever this thing is, a zucchini and onions. It's just like, that's all there is, which is beautiful. I love that Becky. There's no foundation to it, but you're great. It's awesome. Uh, also, obviously Donner meat, sorry, Donner meat and chips. And then I guess like a kebab. Oh, and obviously, mayo. 
astronomy looks absolutely insane. Right, so first of all, what it I thought- It looks like wet cardboard. Like, I don't know what she means by it looks insane. Like, what do you, by what metric does that look insane? Like, <laughs> it's not good at all. I'm gonna do my chips. We've got two lots of different chips. We've got junky Plates chips. big as fuck. And fries, because didn't have enough chips for it all. Oh, she so had to I'm... unite the two. Did you not think that, like, just do one bag. If, if there was only a little bit of, in that one bag left, then just kill the bag. That's all you need to do. That's it. Just leave it there. Why'd you need to add more in? It's just you eating, right? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually do Donna meat on top of chips. And then it's a lot. Put okay, it like, nobody else is eating this, dude. Just her. She's literally finishing, like, literally almost half of the fries just for herself. Pit of bread. How Damn, how much more this? do you need? She went I'm in for another one. Donna me. On top. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is like literally like a kebab. There's too much. There's too much satisfaction from when Becky eats food. Like I, I don't know. I get it. Like you like food, but does anybody else find it concerning whenever she like has the food? You just hear the. Oh my god. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Like I, it's like I don't even get that urge when I see like a very hot, steamy vagina. You know, I'm not like I'm not looking upon it and looking, you know, marinating my lips at the idea of it. Um, but obviously, I'm not doing that with penis either. But you know what I'm saying? Like it just kind of seems really, really odd that Becky has so much like, oh, like hyperventilating. The sheer sight of the food is like intoxicating for her, and it's like I just don't understand it. It's like a, some food addiction shit. Put this down here. The, the plate's not too bad. I'm going to put some of the salad on here. That okay. Fitbit was literally strangling her fucking arm. Did you guys see that? On here. Look at this shit. The strap is like beating into her wrist. I bet if she took it off, it would just like pop back out. Go. And then I've got my pit of bread. Obviously. I've got mayo. Oh, mayo. Just normal yes, mayo. Of course. Not how, many how many more calories are you going to add from the mayo, Becky? Please, Be Becky, I know you like mayo, I know it's UK, and mayo over there is basically a like ketchup for us Americans, but we don't need that much. I got just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Oh, I like mayo, just normal mayo. Just normal mayo, okay. I'm gonna pop this. Okay. All right, all right, Becky. Becky, think. and she went for the, she was, she was about to go vertical too. You saw that shit, bro? She put a lot on and was trying to go vertical on that shit too. Hey, let me show you a close up now. I don't need to see a close oh, wow, up. Guys. Oh. Oh, Becky, Becky, that's a lot of mayonnaise. That is a lot of mayonnaise, if I'm being honest, man. That is a lot. I love it. Let's go and talk in. Right, guys, I'm dying to try this, so let's give it a try. Just paper, just cardboard and paper. Mouth is so small, food so big. Wow. Come on. I'm not just saying it, guys, but that is amazing. It's actually better than a donut kebab. I love it. FYI, she does get Donna kebabs from takeout. She never went back and got more. So I don't even know if this is true or it's just more convenient to order the food, have it delivered to your mouth, and you don't have to cook it or throw it in the oven or wherever else she cooked this shit. I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. She'll do whatever she wants. She's Becky Jones. She has the ability and she will do whatever she wants. Let me know what you've all got. Let me know if you've tried even this close as well. Because I literally found it by an off chance. Today. I just had an egg sandwich. Like, you know, I just had an egg sandwich not too long ago. And that's it. Like, it's all, you know, that's my that was my lunch for today. And, uh, you know, here's Becky eating literally three times more than what I just ate right now. And I'm like literally a ginormous, big, meated man. I need the calories, right? I mean, I'm not that big. But, you know, I'm big, but I'm not that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I love it. What exactly were this awesome. Damn. Hi, everyone. Her mouth so small. It's just so interesting when she puts food in there and it's just like, it just gets caught up. Because like, I think that the outside of the circumference of her lips are very small, but the inside of her mouth is also very small. Or she has a lot of teeth. Or I'm not really sure, actually. Maybe it's just like a lot of inflation in there. I'm not really sure, actually. Right. And I love it. What exactly like, it's just she has struggled so hard to put it in her mouth. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my What I Eat in a Day. So I hadn't had any breakfast. Uh. Ooh, it's like cat food or something like that, dude. Ugh. Pate and cheese doodles. So when I got home, I had some paste on this French... Meat paste is, uh... That's good. That's really good, Becky. I'm happy. Meat paste. Very beautiful. Obviously, the best dietary decisions on Becky's part. Go ahead. Eat that meat paste. Fred, now do not knock it until you try it. I, I think I'm all right. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm good. Never in my life have I ever fed my cat, looked down at that pate and thought... Maybe, uh, maybe I put my mouth on that. Maybe, uh, you know, that don't look too bad when my cat munched on that shit and walked away from it and then, you know, looked at me with the disgust. Never in my life have I ever thought, I mean, you know what? Um, let me go ahead and put my mouth on that shit real quick. I might as well just see what the hubbub's about. 
absolutely love, as does a 52p paste. And on a bit of French bread stick, you can't go bloody wrong. A paste, meat paste on a stick, on a bread stick. Beautiful. I also had some of these sweet and spicy jumbo what's it. Those are just cheese doodles. Those are not, those are not jumbo anything. It was just regular cheese doodles, but go ahead. I love these crisps. Candy Better. naturally. Damn that. Pfft. Probably take that. Take the Halloween basket out of your room. Uh, you don't need that in there. It's only going to encourage you to eat bad. If it's there, you know you're going to body slam it. But if it's not there, then you have no option to body slam it. Because how could you? It's not there. A little bit later on, before I got ready to go and see the fireworks, Becky. I had this raspberry Jaffa cake bar. I didn't know how I felt about it because I do just like it. But you love that shit. After you put that... How are you going to sit there and say you don't know how you're going to feel about it and then eat half of it in one bite? That's crazy, Becky. Show some consistency, bro. If you don't know how it's going to taste, why would you then go for it literally the entire mouthful? Normal Jaffa cake bars. That makes no... <laughs> My bad. I was about to make like a sexual reference. Go ahead. It was still good, though. I also had another one of my Halloween sweets. I need to get rid of these soon. So how are you going to get rid of them? Your mouth? And get the Christmas decorations up. Then Damn, for tea, when more? I got back from the fireworks, I it's, had... It's only going to be worse for Becky every time she sees that in her room. She's going to walk in and see the basket and go, ah, you know, I got to get rid of it anyway. I might as well just fucking... I might as well just fucking put my mouth on one or two or 14 pieces. Like, who going to stop me? I got it. kebab with some chips. I'm honestly obsessed with the chicken kebab from Cheshire Kebab House. It is legit. So this is uh, another chicken kebab, not the one from last night, not the one that we just saw. This is a different chicken kebab that she ordered, and I can't confirm that this is a video that was taken after the one that we just saw. So, given the fact that she said that it was the best kebab she ever had, she still got takeout. Never stops. It never stops, dude. It, 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 this woman's consistency is paramount, obviously. I'm honestly obsessed with the chicken kebab from You're Cheshire. obsessed with chicken kebab in general. And we don't even have it here. I have no idea what that shit tastes like. Please, someone let me know how this mouth meaty, massive, megalodon deliciousness tastes like. I need to know. Kebab house. It is legit my favorite. Garlic mayo is just honestly so tasty. I could eat this with everything. And I watch London is Falling. I'm just... That's the one with uh, Gerard Butler, right? I love Gerard Butler. He's so great. But at some point, I feel like we got to retire these older guys. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that Gerard Butler is like necessarily old. Old, I and mean, he's like 50, right? That's not old. But like, when you see a guy who's 50 running around, you know, killing people or like protecting a president or I guess the Queen of England in your case, uh, don't you look at that guy and go, yo, what are you doing right now, bro? You, what, do you, what do you mean you're running? Like, you, you got arthritis, you know? Like, there's only so much I could take, bro. And, you know, maybe back in the day... When he was in 300, I definitely looked great, smelled good, looked good looking man, right? But nowadays, I just can't really do it. Like, when I see Liam Neeson in a role nowadays, and I'm like, come on, look at this guy's like 80. Like, what are we fucking talking about? This guy ain't doing shit, bro. Put him in a home. But I love Liam Neeson. You know, I really do love <sighs> Qui Gon Jinn. He's one of my favorite characters of all time in Star Wars. Uh, he was, and he was only in one movie, and it's crazy. Uh, he was in. A little bit. He was in like a few episodes of the Clone Wars, which is great. But in general, he was only in one movie. I love him, but we gotta come to the court. We gotta come to the understanding that this guy is old, and a lot of older guys are playing in action movies nowadays. And I'm just kind of thinking, like, we don't have any younger guys nowadays that are willing to, you know, put their joints through a lot of trauma and taking a lot of, uh, you know, trend baloney in order to like make themselves feel and look bigger. Like, come on, dude. See, I, I'm, I love Dwayne Rock Johnson as much as as much as the next guy, but that dude must have suffocated on so much trend baloney at this point that he, he's probably taken off a good 20 years of his life chilled had such a great saturday and i hope you all did too love you all it's like stomach capacity infinite mouth capacity too uh yeah here i am becky jones doing it again yeah it's for the fam no, it's not. I'ma eat it up. I don't care if it's slop. Yeah. Uh. Put Nutella in my mouth. Don't tell her me what to do. You know that me and you gonna have a problem. Look at this glazing sauce. Uh. Yeah. There's a lot in there. Okay, Becky. This is a problem. Becky, this is a problem. We can't be out here making literally deluxe milkshakes. There's got to be a stop. Why are we doing this, dude? You're literally making milkshakes in a slow cooker? That's some fat ass shit. God damn, it's big back as hell. Becky, slow the fuck down. You're only 32, right? 
You got plenty of years left, bro. You've been eating like you've been... If I'm being honest with you, you've probably eaten more than some 70 or 80 year olds in terms of how much you've eaten and they've eaten. It, it collectively. It's crazy, bro. You literally, you're only a few years older than me and I feel like you've probably eaten four times more food than me in my entire life and that might be a low guesstimate. Why are you making deluxe? Did somebody ask you to make this? Did somebody tell you, hey, Becky, you should really go ahead and make some like hot chocolate because if they did, get them out your life. They're not your friend. They're, they're a detriment. And a caramel, of course. Yeah, put the caramel right on top. And marshmallows, naturally. Oh, it's gross. Oh, it's nasty. And you put the and you put the jimmies on the top. And you got the kinders. What the fuck are we doing right now? Becky! What the fuck? Damn, Becky's already big as hell. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Big. That shit's bigger than I thought, too, man. That shit's way large. And then I put the milk. Here is my slow cooker hot chocolate Why? guy. I haven't tasted it yet. Let's give it a try together. Oi, Becky, what the fuck, man? There's tons of milkshake in this fucking slow cooker. This shit's made for the pot roast, not milkshake. That's what I'd be saying. It, it's gonna taste good. It's literally just sugar. It's just sugar. It's just mm -hmm. sugar. It's kinder. It's it's just sugar. It's all that's all it is, okay, Becky? Like that's that's it. It's just sugar. So what you're tasting right now is just carbs and tons and tons of sugar in your mouth. Don't act like there's anything there. It's just qual it's just quantity. That's all it is. Caramel. Shut up. Got a bit of everything in. Disgusting. Here it is for everyone to help themselves. Who's gonna, gonna help themselves to that? Who's gonna dip us who's gonna dip a cup in that and grab some of that chocolate? Who's gonna do that shit? I love when Becky just makes shit and she goes, this is for somebody else, but I never see anybody sucking it down. I never see anybody coming over and grabbing a cup or two. Never see it, but I see Becky drinking it. I definitely see Becky always eating her own food. Never see anybody else though. So interesting how people, anybody can come by. When you say anybody, you're talking about yourself in the future. Are you talking about yourself? Keep it on warm now. Just keep giving it a good mixy mix. Oh. It's just chocolate, dude. It's Hot so chocolate. good. No. I love it. Oh my god. Becky. Oh. Mm -mm. Water. H2O. Agua. That's what I think you should be drinking. Forget about the chocolate. You don't need that shit. You're good. You're already sweet enough, Becky. You don't need any more. You're good. Mm, I never knew which one to do each year. Don't do any. What do you mean, which one to do? You're good. You don't need to do any. What are you talking about? It's like, it's like a throw up in the air, like coin flip on which one you got to do. How about we coin flip on none? <laughs> and um, I just thought, I love Kinder. I have got a Kinder like bar to go in it, but it weren't having any of it, so I kept it simple. Okay. Oh. It's just sugar. It's just chocolate. It's so delicious, guys. Look Let at me this know. Fucking sloppy ass shit. Don't put it on your hand. Oh, oh, Becky. Oh, disgusting. Mm. You gotta make a look. You gotta make a slurp noises too. Oh my God, Becky, stop. You know how many dudes just bet beat off to that right there, right there. Just had that one moment replayed, pushing back on the on the on the, on the button three three seconds back to hear that. Mm. Oh. Don't, Becky. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Becky, stop, stop it. Let me know if you've ever tried this as well. I, you just made it now. What are you talking about? Have I ever tried it? You, what you just made? But oh, wow, well, 10 out of 10 from me. Whatever the fuck <laughs> you say, you What do you mean, man? 10 out of 10, you're disrespectful, bro. Hi everyone, and welcome to my- I always appreciate when Becky wears her hair in any other style besides the one she does 99% of the time, which is literally just pushed back into a pony. I, uh, I always fuck with this. I think this is way better. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, well, let me start. Hey, in a day. Hey. My breakfast, I had some Weetabix, warmed up with some Nutella. Definitely my go-to breakfast still. Okay. Absolutely bloody love it. I also had an ice cold apple juice as well. And these apple juices from Costco. Where, where's the water though? Like, do you drink any water in the morning at all? Or is it just always juices? Yeah, it's not, come to think of it. I don't think I ever see Becky drinking water in general. I think it's always something else. It's never water. My favorite. Then for my dinner, I had the M&S meal deal, okay. which a lot of people were like, Becky, it's not a meal deal. But that's correct. But I made it into my own little meal deal. I got the turkey feast pasta. And you got a Lunchable. You got a children's Lunchable. And then and the peanut butter and jam dip and a cloudy lemonade. 
I have done a full video on this. Trying to review it. Then for tea, I had the M&S Chicken Tikka Masala, some bargy fries, which surprisingly were very tasty. It's disgusting, but very dude. It's too much. Like, you eat too often, dude. Too much takeaway. How often do people get takeaway? Because it seems like every day for her. Every day. At least once a day. At least. I had some chicken pakoras as well. Non bread. And, and by the way, she's going on another vacation. And you know the last one, the one before that, and the one before that, she just ate out literally every single one. So, you know. Papa Doms. You can't beat this type of tea. Easy and just Whatever so tasty. Whatever for her, I suppose. Damn. Then a little bit later on when I was catching up on Big Chocolate? Brother. Chocolate with what? What is it? Fruits? I think it's fruits. It's like fruits, like, right? I had some of my true fruit, frozen yeah. raspberries. Frozen raspberries. Anytime it's, it's got a, a fruit for her, she'll only eat it when it's covered in chocolate, which defeats the entire purpose of eating fruit. Like, you, you would think that eating fruit in general is very delightful. It's very good, depending on the fruit, of course. Uh, I don't like fucking, I don't like, I don't like, grapes are good. I don't like raspberries. I don't like strawberries. They're too watery. They don't even really have flavor. They kind of seem a little gay, in my opinion. But definitely, uh, I like apples. I like grapes and things such and so forth. But chocolate-flavored anything is just going to take on the flavor of chocolate. It's like deep-frying anything. Like, it doesn't matter what you deep-fry. You could probably deep-fry uh, an Indonesian man's foreskin and told you that it was, like, the outside wrapper of a skin, uh, a chicken skin. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I love that shit. That shit tastes good in my mouth. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It was that seasoning I smell on that. Chocolate-coated, dark chocolate, these Laying ones, down. and I absolutely love them. I wonder if Becky has a CPAP. You would think that at her size she would, right? But I hope you all had a good day. Love you all. It's not takeaway night. I bet you all thought it's bonfire night. So, of course, Becky Jones always has a takeaway on an occasion. But guess what? Psych! I haven't. <laughs> so, we've got some nachos, which I'm going to put in my little snack tray here. Well, tortilla chips, should I say, we've got. I'm going to put some of them in. Great. Great Becky. Oh, my God. I'm going to be so upset if she's making nachos like this, dude. It's already bad. Nachos, in a very basic sense, I guess, are cheese chips. But that's so depressing. There are other ways to make nachos. And it, that involves meat, seasoning, onions. Uh, you know, you're, you're putting s a s uh, scallions in there. You're putting a whole bunch of stuff to, like, really enhance the flavor. And I know it's really bad for you. I make my own nachos. I haven't made them in a while, though. Because I tend to make a lot and I end up don't eating it all. But... Nachos in general are very, very good. They're not very nutritious. They're going to blow out your calories. But I hope this is at least more than just chips and cheese. And then I've got some nacho It's cheese. not even warmed up either, dude. No way you're putting this in the microwave. Don't tell me you're putting this, this in the microwave. This, which I'm going to pour all no. over. Uh, uh, uh. And I also got some salad cream as well. On the chips? Which I'm gonna pop in this little okay, hole. Okay, thank God. Oof, damn. There we go. And then we've got hot dogs. You've got to have a hot dog, haven't you, Ron? Hot dogs with nachos? What is this combination, Becky? Why? Bommy night. Oh, look at that. It's and a hot then, dog. No onions? I'm really simple on my. No onions, dude? Nothing on that, dude? Nothing? Hot dog. Ketchup, I guess. I like Gotta moisten up the dog. meat a little bit. It's a lot. Some ketchup. And we've got... Onions? Onions? A few fried onions. Fried onions. Okay, not bad. Okay, at least there's onions there. Oh. I feel like uh, fried onions are less oniony flavor than regular, like, not cooked onions. And that's okay. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care about that. But the ketchup is going to take away all the flavoring of the onions. Like, you might have a slight crunch, but the, the flavor of the onions is basically gone. Beautiful, Becky. Wow. Nachos. Cold-ass fucking nachos, if you can even call them that. And a hot dog with a lot of ketchup. Beautiful, Becky. Absolutely perfect. Wow. It's, uh, it looks so depressing. This is the definite, definite understanding of what every white person thinks nacho is. Let me show you a close-up. Nobody That's cares. The cutest. Oh, man, dude. This is so fucking sad. Becky, do better next time. You didn't even properly distribute the onions either. Well, they don't even look like onions. What is, what is up with that? Did you cook them? This little bonfire night snack tray I have seen. I love it. What's everyone? Oh. What does everyone else have for tea tonight? It's like she can't fit it in her mouth. Like, she's such a struggle. 
What does everyone else have for tea tonight? Like, <laughs> it's like it's such a it's such a small mouth, but then it ends up taking a giant. Like, I feel like you gotta take your mouth and like open it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like really open it up to try to put the food in there. Mmm. You can't beat a hot dog sometimes. I kind of feel like somebody else took a bite of it and spit it in her mouth. Because I feel like she's not capable of making a bite size that big. Let me know. Stay safe tonight. I love you all. Thanks, Becky. I love you too. Love you too. I'm sure that tea was delicious and great and beautiful in so many different ways. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, I appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all the things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in tea because we're all going to have tea tonight, right? The tea is hot and the kettle is stirring or whatever the people say. But uh, let me know what the tea is. I need to know what all the tea is, including the tea that you're going to have in terms of like what the drama is and also what you're going to be eating for dinner. Isn't that what dinner is? Tea, right? Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I think. But regardless, your tea, your body is tea. Your entire identification is tea. I've heard somebody say that before. I don't know why we just add tea to things. I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure it's spelled like not T-E-E -E or tea, but like tea as in like, you know, tea in a pot. But anyway, um, big tea, you know, uh, big Tyrone, big giant, big meaty tea. You got that T on deck, 100%. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it will be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.